Hello my loves and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. If we're meeting for the first time, welcome. And for those of you that are old friends and family, welcome back. As you guys can see, it's a relaxed vibe here within the apothecary space. We're going to be diving into the full moon that's happening in the sign of Pisces. I have the chart pulled up on my right. I'm sure you can see this camera here on my left. I debated on whether or not I was going to like try to spend more time trying to hide it, you know what I mean, disguising it, but at the end of the day, you guys already know, I've been trying to figure out the camera settings and all that other stuff, and instead of me pretending like I have it all together, which you already know I'm not going to do, one thing I will never do is pretend, I'm just like, listen, it is what it is, we are figuring this out every single week as we go along, but you're not here for the camera settings or the microphone, you're here for the reading the intuition, the guidance, the astrology, and that's exactly what we're going to dive into. So grab some coffee, grab some tea, grab some water, grab some Indian food, because that's what I'm going to be having. And let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, first things first, my loves, when it comes to this beautiful full moon that's happening in the sign of Pisces, it's so important that I start off talking about how important our intuition is. And our ability, our strength, the gift, the talent that it is for us to be able to read the energy of the room, right? Now, whenever I'm pulling a chart for the collective, we have to remember that these readings are very specific, but for a wide audience. And I really wanna encourage you to pull your natal chart. I love to use astro.com in order to do that so that I can zoom in and see what Pisces rules within my chart or someone else's. This is going to help you to follow along and see exactly what house or what chunk of your life this full moon is going to be activating. Okay, so for me, this is career. So when I'm talking about these um, predictions and when I'm talking about the energy, that's the chapter of my life. That's the area of my life where I am most likely going to see this unfold. So let me know down in the comments down below, guys, what um, what house, what part of your life is the Pisces full moon falling in? Now, taking a step back, our intuition and reading the energy and reading the vibes is so important. And this is not just because of the full moon, but full moons have a way of heightening things, intensifying things and bringing them to the forefront, the center of our vision. So we can't avoid them, dismiss them or overlook them any further. A few weeks back, I was talking about the new moon in Virgo, the opposite of Pisces. And I said that there was an opening door, like a door that was opening there with the new moon. T typically with new moons, whenever they pop off, they tend to open the door for things that create lasting patterns. And it's important for us to pay attention to what occurs in the days or the day of the new moon that happens because that tends to set the trend anywhere between that moment to three months to six months to nine months depending with the full moon it's not so much that it sets the trend it has a way of bringing everything to culmination everything to completion so it's beautiful because it's heightened it's expressive it's in your face it's obvious but it doesn't tend to last forever because the change that happens is kind of like cutting. It tends to kind of like cut, sever a tie, end something so that it's not something that carries on. This is where it's so important that with this full moon, we trust, we trust this process. Pisces is so beautiful because it is symbolically represented by the ocean and all of the many depths and layers of the ocean that still to this day we have yet to explore we don't even know and understand how far and deep like we have a general idea of how deep the ocean goes but we don't know what lies within within the ocean there's so much that's not discovered same thing is what pisces energy brings to us and the full moon brings to us at this moment in time it's the unknown, it's the shadow, it's the hidden, it's the secret. And this isn't a threat to us. It's a reminder 
of our many layers and how deep each of us individually go often to also if we think about collective consciousness as an as an ocean there's so many things that we don't fully grasp that we don't fully understand that our logic hasn't even processed but we can sense it we can sense that something is good we can sense that something is bad or it is what it is we can sense where we need to be we can sense what we need to say what we need to do where we need to pivot where we need to pause but oftentimes what becomes a blockage is when we try to logicalize that when we try to reason with that with that intuitive sense within that intuitive knowing that intuitive knowingness there's things that we understand and that's surface level and then there's depths and layers to energies and truth and and science and vibes and how things all strategically align that we have to trust through our senses alone which means that we have to trust and lean into our faith so that is so beautiful with this full moon and wherever this is happening within your life specifically there's this extra nudge to trust in the journey and trust in the process especially when it comes to pivots and deviations why pivots and deviations well because we do have pluto retrograde right now saturn retrograde right now neptune retrograde chiron retrograde these planets are major planets in my opinion they don't get talked about enough in the astrological realms like astrology predictions every week because when they go retrograde when they go to direct everyone hyper fixates on it for a week and then they see, they tend to forget about it or the they the the conversation tends to linger and taper off to other more exciting things but just because they're not actively turning retrograde or direct in the moment doesn't mean that they're not directly and in, intensely impacting you at that moment in time which is what they're doing and with all of these planets currently retrograde right now these major planets even though they're not personal planets they're the major planets they are further out they are impacting influencing redirecting transforming evolving the major themes within our lives that are shaping us molding us sculpting us like you know molding us into who we are to be and what our lives are to look like this means that again there's a lot of energy a, a lot of messages here a lot of encouragement to release let go surrender pause be open to the pivots be open to the changes instead of trying to influence them fight them resist them so anytime when we have retrogrades especially at the full moon you know this is one of those times where it's like okay my emotions can be heightened feel those emotions whether it be excitement whether it be like wisdom for some of you guys it's not even like emotional feelings it's more an inner sense of peace like an inner depth there's an inner depth in the oceans of you that know this is what is good for me this is what is right for me i've lived not only do you have the the strength of your experiences that are making you knowledgeable and informed when you live you learn and you know to do better in the future you've seen those patterns before but you also have when you comp when you compile that with your intuition you're just like wow not only have i seen this before but my vibes my energy is telling me that the the vibe is off or that's a pause for me that's a no for me the other thing that i want to talk to you guys about with this pisces full moon is if you have had any type of relationships, situationships, things that you have been interacting with, engaging with, that have been testing your boundaries, this is when the Pisces full moon steps forward and says, enough is enough, and we will not carry forward with this any longer. Um, this has a lot to do with expectations. This has a lot to do with manipulation, control, power techniques, like power, power control, um, ways that people do things in order to manipulate even the masses especially if we're looking at government politics finances big business we're going to watch how people in positions of power or who have been empowered we're starting to see them kind of crack and expose what their actual intentions are to the root and this is something to pay attention to 
Now, in many ways, Pisces rules illusion and fantasy. And this is oftentimes the facade or the face that we project onto the world. I don't want to say every single one of us. Sometimes we do it consciously or unconsciously, but it can happen. It does happen. It oftentimes happens. But when we're looking at government, politics, big big business, and people in positions of power, there's an, a story, a narrative that is being told and sold. And with the Pisces full moon, it'll be interesting to see how that starts to crack, crumble, and fall apart. It is September 15th that it is that I'm recording this right now at 2.22 p.m. Eastern Standard Time while I'm recording, of course. The synchronicity is wild. But the full moon itself is going to be September 17th. I don't know if I said that at 10.35 p.m. I think I just kind of dived right in and talking about the about the full moon and what it is that we can expect. So in a few days, we will begin to see, or you might be watching this from the future, <laughs> um, but yeah, we might be seeing how that facade, that image starts to crack and crumble. It may not necessarily be one person. It may be a whole lot of people that we're watching and just being like, wow. So um, for some of you guys, when it comes to government, business, politics, etc., etc., there's this um, all or nothing mentality where it's like, okay, if I can't trust this person and then I got to trust this person or I got to put my faith in this, you don't have to put your anything, your faith in anything right now. You can read the energy of the room intuitively sense that the vibe is off and maybe there's not anyone that is that you can trust right now. So now what, right? Now what? Asking that question is wonderful. Not having an answer is wonderful because it leaves energy it leaves things to be discovered it leaves things to be worked on which is exactly the plan when that i can see as i'm pulling the charts as i'm working with the planets they have an ulterior motive to to reveal to uncover to fix that which has been broken or manipulative or shady or closeted for quite some time and you may not necessarily see a solution in this moment why? Because collectively, we're supposed to be working towards finding a better outcome. This is going to um, be something that takes time. We can apply this to the, the world, the news, and how we see it. And we can also apply this energy to ourselves. The other thing that I want to talk to you guys about is balance when it comes to um, masculine and feminine energy. <clears throat> a big thing with this that is showing up for me is how our shadow selves, our hidden selves, oftentimes it's not intentionally hidden. It's just the way that, remember how I was talking about the illusion, the fantasy, the facade that people may try to project? Off, apply that to our subconscious. Pisces rules our subconscious and our, our psychology. This is the way that we are ingrained to believe things, to see things, and that manipulates and changes our perspective of the world. It can open doors of opportunity or close doors of opportunity because we can't recognize a gift or a blessing. It can make us believe things about ourselves or our healing or our journey that aren't necessarily true because we're limited within that perspective. It can make us work harder. It can make us lean into our masculine or into our feminine or the flip side of that, the shadow side of that, and use what we've known to work for us, even if it's unhealthy for so long, to try to get what it is that we want or to survive or to, th you know, whatever it is. So, and this is a, a just like how it's hard, we, we watch, you know, um, these larger leaders and these larger uh, foundations of life as we know it kind of crashing and burning apply that to your intimate life your personal life and how you may be watching parts of yourself revealing themselves the facade the mask that you have believed about yourself the stories that it is that you've told yourself all this time that it's time for you to unmask that to pull that off to unclothe yourself from that because that's not actually who you are any longer it was what your subconscious believed was who you are and what you needed to do and was the only way to success but again there's layers to it there's layers to it watch your dreams watch your dreams watch your subconscious watch what you are instinctively believing first 
ask more questions instead of making more statements, the Pisces full moon is going to open up again. This wonderful door of opportunity to help you to discover more about yourself when it comes to your fears, your hidden desires, your expectations, and limitations and opportunities that it is that you have within yourself, especially when it comes to psychological blockages. This is a wonderful time to explore therapy or art or expression or journaling and making sure that you're when you're journaling and getting this this um, narrative out that you're taking time to reflect on and reread back what it is that you're writing and see if there's inaccuracies see if there's uh, trends and even asking for help to help you to kind of like pull yourself away from that mold that you're so accustomed to okay I also want you guys to look into masculine and feminine energies, what that looks like when it's healthy, and have that honest to God conversation with yourself where you say, have I been showing up in this feminine way that is healthy for me? Have I been showing up in this way that is healthy in my masculine? Have I, let me look at the negative traits. Not Let me not just focus on the positive. Let me look at the ones that are more difficult and, um, controversial and see if I can see within my see myself within that as well and really kind of journal on you don't necessarily need to find out the root of it because that's a lot of digging for many of us but at least knowing that it's there and begin to recognize those patterns patterns within yourself because it always starts subconsciously and then it projects into our world and changes our reality I also want to caution you guys about energies that are around you when it comes to people and places and jobs. Make sure that you're checking in with yourself. How does this make you feel? How does this person make you feel? This could be a best friend circle. This could be an animal. This could be a job. This could be your family. This could be a place that you continue to go to. Does it raise your vibration or is it slowly something that you are tolerating that is eating away at you and, and definitely when it comes to food paying attention to your food exercise or lack thereof because all of these things impact your vibes your aura okay so let's go ahead and pause really quickly i have my tarot deck here you guys know i love to merge astrology with the tarot and um, let's dive right in and see what the cards have to say. All right, darling. So as you guys can see, we have the camera positioned. The tarot decks that I'm going to be working with in Oracle decks will be linked down below in the description box. And if you love readings like this moving forward, then Bahati Love Nights, <laughs> Love Nights, Love Notes is your BFF where it's kind of like a Patreon, like a Bahati Life Patreon where I just shuffle and pull for the collective there the small group the collective there and we just kind of tap into the energy and um see what we need to hear as the month unfolds so the links for that will be down below as well as the coupon code let's go ahead and look into the tarot and see what the first cards are that want to show up hi priestess are we surprised by this i know i'm not of course, with Pisces energy, the high priestess is the first one to jump out. Of course, we're talking about energy and trusting our vibes. And the high priestess card is the first one to jump out. Of course it is. Of course. Six of cups. This has a lot to do with things coming from the past, which is so interesting because we were talking about the retrogrades. Make sure that you, I don't want to tell you what to do here, but if there is something from your past, like an ex or something an issue or childhood things that are coming through we want to really sit with this um i'm actually hearing the word blocked so someone might might be trying to move past being blocked or wanting to communicate i'm not questioning their motives right now because that's your situation and if anything i'm going to encourage you to have to use your own judgment your own intuition your own discernment but it just seems like there's something here that's coming from the past that wants to talk, communicate, or address itself. Again, like I said in the in during the majority of this reading and just hanging out with you guys now, I think that it's important that we just don't automatically assume that we know what something or someone is about, that we listen to ourselves first and listen to the energy. If it feels right, 
then trust it and go with that. And it doesn't need to be a forever thing. It could be something that brings you closure. It could be something that brings you answers. Also, some of you guys may be having dreams about exes or past partners or or themes of energy stuff that you've lived through. And I'm not telling you not to take it seriously, but I will tell you not to take it literally because dreams are very symbolic. And just like I said, with Pisces energy, there's a surface level and there's the depth of all of where that message can go. So look towards themes of how did you feel during that dream? Did you feel powerless? Did you feel lost? Did you have a voice? Were you protective? Were you hiding? Were you, were you pout? Like, were you swimming and you just, you couldn't see? These are things that you want to look out for because it's subconsciously telling you that when you were going through that situation, this is how it was making you feel. And let's try to work to avoid that or let's make sure that you are always being empowered. Also, try not to pin, when you have dreams about people, try not to pin the specifics to that. Like, let's say it's a dream that you someone is coming into the future and you don't know their face or there's like details that show up in the, within the dream allow yourself to be open to what the universe is trying to send you is going to be entering into your life instead of you automatically assuming to look for that thing again there's a surface level that says it that you know there's this person there's these traits there's this there's that but there's so much depth to that in the universe our subconscious goes so, so, so deep. Let's look at the next card. We have Eight of Wands reversed. This is a message here about not going fast, not rushing, taking your time to allow yourself to process what it is that you are sensing. If anybody is rushing you to make a choice or a decision, you already know that that's most likely not going to be for your highest and greatest good. Um... But again, use your discernment with that. There is this need to kind of slow down. And we do have the major planets retrograde right now. So we don't want to find ourselves tripping, falling, and racing into a problem that will inevitably create like backlash or bigger issues for us later on in life. Ace of Cups, interesting reversed. I see this 1000% as keeping your heart, your energy open and receptive to, especially when it comes to the intuition and what spirit wishes to speak to you. This doesn't mean that you need to be bolted to your altar or stuck in your <laughs> prayer closet or locked in your prayer, prayer closet, whatever works for you. It just means that you are making time and space, returning back to the sacred space so that you can listen, so that you can download, so that you can receive what it is that is needed. This is not just intuitive messages for what the future holds, but what you need to feel and experience now. And you'd be surprised how your angels, your guides, your ancestors know exactly emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, what you need to receive, whether it be a quiet moment, whether it be two words of comfort or acknowledgement, whether it be you giving the space to be silent so that you can feel all that you're feeling and let it out. So I'm really seeing this this energy here of allowing time to slow down so that you can be present in the sanctity, like the sacred space of the temples of your heart so that you can feel what needs to be felt right now. The next card, wow, is the nine of swords reversed. This is about you releasing anxiety and tension and fear and insomnia. Are there things too that are blocking you from being able to have steady, consistent sleep? Not to pr promote because this doesn't like they don't sponsor this video, but I have an aura ring that I wear and it tracks my sleep. It tracks my heart rate. It tracks all the changes with my body. I'll let you guys have like a coupon code down below. I, th I think it, it's expensive, but it's worth it. Um, it's like little monitoring device. That's something that's coming through right now is monitoring your sleep and making sure that you are taking steps to take care of your subconscious, especially when it comes to restful sleep. If there are things that are giving you a lot of anxiety, is this the time to set intention under the light of the full moon to release those things because your angels and your guides don't want you to suffer or have your sleep sabotage because sleep is, especially deep sleep, REM sleep, is when the body heals itself. The last card that we have here, 10 of Wands reversed. I love that. This is about unburdening yourself. What does Kamala Harris say? To undo what cannot be undone. <laughs> 
can you guys let me know down in the comments when she when they post on uh instagram her saying that like 17 times in a row it cracks me up every single time but i can never <laughs> i can never remember it's like cryptic poetry but just so that was her for a minute that was her slogan though wasn't it did you guys watch the debate <laughs> what did you think anyway um i don't know how we oh <laughs> unburdened <laughs> that's what made me think about it uh yeah this is about unburdening yourself and taking off the stress the pressure of the things that you may have accepted that you allow that is stressing you out and just really messing up your ability for restoration for healing for spiritual alignment for peace of mind that is the biggest bag right now there are so many people that are stressed out and it doesn't need to be that way it really doesn't let me look at this oracle deck that i have here this is the wild offering what are things that spirit wants us to focus on with the full moon and pisces themes 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 first card we have is spaciousness this is us allowing the universe to do what it is that it's going to do and not taking it upon ourselves to try to intercept or to intervene or to interject on what needs to happen we're just kind of trusting the process next card we have here is sanctuary and this reminds me of the four walls of the temple of your heart going into that sacred space which is again something that we've been talking about wow we also have work and this has a lot to do with our purpose helping people on the planet and also asking the universe your angels and your guides to provide for you so that you can have more peace of mind abundance security stability which is nourishing the root chakra something that every single one of us should be asking for if you're not if that's not something that's being demonstrated in your life right now and maybe even like have like a job where you are helping to heal other people or this is confirmation affirmation for those of you guys that are ready to transition out of your current nine to five jobs into careers where you are helping helping the masses in the way that is unique for you so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for those of you guys that are subscribed to Bahati love notes your reading is coming now until then make sure that you're subscribed to this youtube channel because youtube has been going through it a lot lately and has been unscribing people not just my youtube channel but others so make sure that you are subscribed that you have the bell turned on the notifications on because there's plenty more videos where this came from and i'll see you guys in my next one happy new moon whoop i almost said it almost said it happy full moons blessings in pisces bye <laughs>